Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Yes, today I did a small Walmart pepper pantry pickup haul. These are some things I did want to add into my pantry. Now, the bulk of our water will be coming from Sam's Club. The last Sam's Club haul you guys saw, yes, my children pretty much got that pickup haul. I mean, picked up that haul in the store. So, that really, you know... That's why it looked like that. You know, they pretty much picked up what they wanted from the store, which was fine. All good and fine. So, when I go back, I'm going to be going back picking up the essentials when I go back to the store. Okay? Now, this was a pickup for Yolanda King today. What not? Story time, story time, story time. Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. I stopped fooling with Walmart for a little while. I love Walmart. You know, you get whatever you want, when you want, how you want there, you know. They're going to pick it up or they gonna, you can do pickup, delivery, or just go on in the store. Just all kind of stuff. But went to the Walmart pickup today. When I placed the order, I should have knew something went right. Because I placed the order, they were two days out. Two days, uh, they said on um, Tuesday and on Wednesday, they were fully booked. So I couldn't book it until Thursday in the evening time, right? So, okay, Thursday evening got here. My time got here. 7 p.m. in the evening got here. And then they said, they were like, we're, your order is delayed. They sent me that message. Your order has been delayed. It's delayed, blah, blah, blah. So they sent me that message. Then when I got there and I tried to, uh, you know, check in, the delayed message kept coming up. It wasn't... In the app, it wasn't showing that my order was fully done, so I couldn't even check in. Sat there about 30 or 40 minutes, you know, trying to give them some time to get it together, blah, blah, blah. It never said it was fully done on the app, so I walked into the store. All right. I walked into the store. I talked to some people at the money center because she stopped me, literally stopped me. What's your problem? Can I help you? Oh, you got to go. I told her what the problem was. You got to go to the service center. They'll call the uh pickup program people and they will get everything settled for you i went over to the money service people it was two people over there the guy downright told me i don't know what i can do i don't know what to do to help you they're about to close over there anyway so you know i just don't know what to tell you then i talked to the lady over there in the service pickup you know those who who tell you that it's all your fault that everything is going awry okay i said I put the order in on Tuesday, but I wasn't able to come pick it up to the day. She said, that's all right, because you can come pick it up five days after you put the order in. I didn't know you could always pick it up five days later. They'll hold it up to five days for you. So that's something to know, you know. I did not know that. I said, no, you guys were booked up on all day Tuesday and Wednesday. Normally when I put the order in, I can either come that same day or the next day to get it, ma'am. And I said, you guys were booked up for those two days, so I had to get it for today. Did you check in, ma'am? Yes, I tried to check in, but on the app, it was saying my order wasn't finished. It gave me a delay, you know, um, message. But then I came on after about 30 minutes after that. And then I got into the spot and tried to check in. It still told me the order had not been fulfilled, okay? All right, that's the reason why they haven't been out to the car yet, this and that. I said, well, what do I do in the meantime? It is, it has hit 8 o'clock. And that is past the hour, the frame time that I was supposed to pick it up. What do I do now? I don't know. I said, can I speak to a manager and pick up? There's not the, the manager is not here, ma'am. And uh, what I would suggest you do is just go ahead and cancel that order. You could just forget about that order. You could just cancel that order. I'm like, ma'am, I've already paid for the order. It is bought and paid for. But I guess once I cancel it, it would have just came right back on the card. So then I, I wasn't giving up. I left her. People that you're not getting nowhere with, I just go ahead and leave them. Instead of getting frustrated with them or saying something uh, that you'll later regret to a person, you want to just move on. So I said, thank you for your help, ma'am. Mm-hmm. That was, she was like, uh-huh. So I'm like, okay, let me go, go to somebody else. Because she had already said while she was talking to me that this job that got me on tonight, I don't want to be on it. I don't want to be here, this and that. So you're talking to a customer and you're complaining about what your your job is supposed to be. Oh, my Lord. So I was like, let me get away from her. So then on top of that, I went over to the cashiers. I was walking. I just saw a lady. I said, can you help me? I'm, uh, I try to do a pickup. I've been here over an hour. I just want to pick up the groceries. At this point, I will get the groceries and take them out to my car myself. But it's called Kroger Pickup. Okay. So, um, 
At this point, it was past eight, and I was like, Lord have mercy. So she said, there is nothing. I am so sorry, but I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what to say, this and that. Uh, well, you may should just cancel that order and just try again later. I was not giving up on this order, so... <laughs> So finally, I got to a guy. She, I said, is there a manager of any kind? They said, no, there's no manager for pickup here. I said, is there any kind of manager here? Can I speak to any manager? He's a team lead. That's close I can get you. So she pointed me out to a team lead. I talked with him. I told him what was going on. He said, ma'am, just follow me. We're going to go back here to pick up and see if they just got your order ready. And then he said, you do not know the day I've had and this and that. I can just about guess what all the employees I went through just to get to him. So he was really complaining about his day, but he said he's going to keep on trying to help everybody he can at Walmart because he was a team leader at Walmart. Okay, so he got me back there to the pickup. The pickup lady came out, the one that was in charge. There wasn't a manager there, but there was a lady there in charge of making sure everybody did the picks. The picks mean they go around the store and pick up the order. Let me see if your order has been done. Can you tell me? I didn't have my phone with me. forgot my phone in the car. So, um... I told her, I don't have my phone with me, but I can tell you what's in the order. She went back there, found, found the order, brought me the order. She never said nothing about sorry before your inconvenience, this and that. She just gave me the order. And it was in a cart. It wasn't even in the blue totes, you know, they bring it out in. It was in a cart. She just gave me the cart. I just said, I just said, thank you so much for your help. And I got on out of there. You know, you just wanted to go on. I said, thank you so much for your help, and I just went on. All right, story time, story time, story time is over. So <laughs> I did a lot. Um, there's like 10 Walmarts in the town that I'm in, so I would just use a different Walmart. A lot of times I don't have that big of a problem with Walmart, but sometimes I do, and tonight it was just, it was a whole lot, a whole lot. So this evening I did get one big 32 case of the Aquafina water. We are going to add this to the 10 cases that we need to get to be just stocked up like we like to be. We okay. did get six cans of this whole kernel corn right here. And then one can is like that. So whoever did my picking, they just kind of like, you know, they just picked up whatever they saw. It kept on rolling. But I, I got six cans of the golden kernel sweet corn. I do want to add cream style corn to my pepper pantry. My plan for my pepper pantry is to have one and done items. One and done. Meaning you only have to add water or you can just open and eat or open and drink. One or the other. That's what I want. One and done items in my pantry. So right now I'm working through the items that we have to make up and cook and add egg to and all this and that. Noodles, you just add that water and boil it. So I really want to look into like a battery operated hot plate or some different little things I've seen on different pepper or channels um, like that you could buy that will heat up stuff, you know, or get it cooking a little bit. Stuff that you only got to add water to, though. Only have to add water to. I did get six of these tuna pouches. Man, I'm really loading up on the tuna pouches. Kind of hard to come out with them being over a dollar each, but I think these are only a dollar at Walmart right now. They're on rollback for a dollar. I think the regular price is like a dollar forty nine. I got two of your Thai chili kind, two sweet and spicy, and two lemon pepper. They got so many different flavors of these. These are the three that we are prone to get or that we've been eating for a long time. I want to try other kinds. So I'm definitely going to be trying other kinds and get really stocked up on this one and done. Look, one and done. Open that can of corn. You really can eat. One and done. You open this pouch of tuna, you really can eat. You open that bottle of water, you can drink. You know, I just really want some one and done items or one step pepper pantry items in my full pantry. Pretty much what I really want to be focused on. That's just me. I did get four packages of these blue bonnet uh, margarines. I have no butter in my pepper pantry right now. Uh, pepper pantry freezer item right here, your butter or your margarine. This is margarine. I love to have the real creamy good butter. Lando Lace or else either the Kroger or the Sam Club brand. I don't care. But as of now, I've just been getting this. This is what I've been able to get when i go back to sam club i will see if butter is in the budget but i think we're gonna have like right at 150 dollar um budget to go to walmart I, when the kids went they went with their own money 
the other day, and you know, we just did the Sam Club haul. Of course, my husband and I, we put some money, we put some items on there, but you know, that was just a haul they did in order, you know, their snacks and stuff that they really like. But when me and my husband go, we'll probably have like a budget. But I know my husband, if it's something that I want or that I see that I think we could use for the house or need, he'll go and get it. But long story short, butter is not in the house right in the house right now so we've got four things of margarine i will get 10 to 20 packs of these until further notice all right you guys this is the last but not least um item in the pepper pantry hall i now have a big drink cabinet a full drink cabinet we like to drink our drinks around here we like to have something to drink all the time so i did get an eight pack of the gatorade zeros these are the 20 fluid ounces i don't want them to fall and these are like the i believe these are the 12 fluid ounces at the bottom and that's a 12 pack of those eight pack 12 pack i'm gonna put them in our drink cabinet our packs of our cases of water sit on the floor but all of our like gatorade powerade soda juices all are in the cabinet so i do have a drink cabinet i will be showing the full pepper pantry um in it, in its entirety filled up when, once i get it filled back up like i want it like, like i said i have switched to a method of one and done or one step items so thank you guys for joining me for this small pepper pantry haul thank you for listening and until next time youtube stay blessed